Yo, Scars, welcome back to another video, and this is a reaction to Geography King, and the video is states ranked by meaning of their names, and yeah, I mean, I've done a re Geography King reaction, like, what, an hour ago, and like, yeah, I mean, I'm back in the rhythm already, but yeah, man, I mean, I like his videos, you know how it is, and I used to do some of his videos like this in the past, it was sort of like, ranking states, um, Flag, state flags, ranking state signs when you go into the states and like all these different things and I always enjoyed doing the videos and you always seem to enjoy the, re enjoy the reactions and yeah man I mean I saw this posted quite recently I say recently nearly like three weeks ago but yeah, there we go I mean that's just how it is right but we're going to get into this hopefully you're going to enjoy if you want more Geography King reactions suggest what ones you want to see in the future I know he does a lot of specific re um, videos on like specific states so I'm like he'll do a video on Wisconsin or I don't know New York or just wherever basically you just do it off I guess every state and like an overview of a certain thing so maybe I'll start re reacting to those in future we'll see but yeah quick shout out to my Instagram and my Twitter links in the description for those interested save my Patreon links were there for those interested I'm going to Scotland in like 12 hours I'm going to be up pretty much all night just reacting and doing all these different things so yeah if you want to see like things of Scotland in Scotland I'm going to be posting things there so yeah, links in the description for my Instagram and my Patreon. Patreon reactions are going to be going. Hopefully, whilst I'm in Scotland, again, I'm going to be doing a few re reactions. I want to keep it consistent because we were nearly at 400 on Patreon. So, yeah, I'm going to keep up, keep up the grind of that. But let's just get into this, man. Just check this out. I don't actually know the meaning. Have I done a video on the meaning of state names? I don't think I have. Oh, my back. Howdy, it's Kyle, counting down the names of the 50 states. And a name is the most basic thing that a place can have. It can be descriptive of the land. It can be the first impression of the first people that saw the land. It can be named after a person. There are all types of things that give a place a name. So in this video, I'm gonna count down which states have the best ones. I'm not going by how the name actually sounds. So it's not like say Mississippi is kind of a funny sounding word, but it's more what the word actually means. So if it's a word in a different language, whether it be in I guess maybe some are from like sort of New England, it's not a state, but New England for example is like, I guess because of certain things to do with England and I don't know, just things like that. I don't actually know, to be honest, I don't really know. Disney, Spanish, French or whatever, <laughs> it'll be what the word actually means, not the way it sounds. And also any kind of video like this, whether it's me ranking the flags or the state capitals or the welcome signs or whatever it happened to be, it's all this entirely my opinion. So all of these ranking videos, consider them more like an overview of the state names just presented in my personal favorite order. The worst state name is New Mexico. I don't think it's good to have another country's name in your state name. So for it to be New Mexico, I think is a very poor name for a state. Fair Indiana enough. simply means land of the Indians. So that's not a very good name, especially considering that so many of the names of states are indigenous words. So for this simply to be land of Indians isn't really a great name. Wyoming takes its name from a Delaware indigenous word for large plain or prairie. And it was named this in Pennsylvania first, but people in Wyoming liked the word, so they named it Wyoming as well. I always thought New York is meant to be New like York. New, the place of York in England, but it's actually named after the Duke of York. That's exactly what I thought as well. That's exactly what I thought. But it's named the, the, the Duke of York, who is from England. Who later became King James II. What? Again, it shouldn't be so surprising to me that it's named after like an English person or an English place, but I just, I think of New York and I'm just like, this is named after some random, well, I say random, some king or some duke or whatever from the past. It just sort of baffles me, but it is pretty cool how that is the case. For me, I mean, I don't know. If he's ranked it low, so maybe it's not that cool, to be honest. So overall, not a great name for a state. Now, New Hampshire is one where it's meant to be New Hampshire, the place this in is England, which is in the south central portion of the country. Um, so. I don't think it's a great name for a state when it's new version of another country again, so not a great name for a state. And very similarly, New Jersey is named after Jersey, an island um, part of the UK, so... Again! See, I, that's baffled me. I knew there was an island called Jersey, but I didn't know it was correlated to this. I just thought it was like a name that just sort of ended up being the same. That's, that is baffling to another, me. Another you know, new that's version of an old place. Not a great name for a state. At 43 and 44 are Virginia and West Virginia, which are both named after the same person, Queen Elizabeth I, who is known as the Virgin Queen. So, I don't know, when it's named okay. after a, a monarch from the Old Lands, not a great name. 
to influence along screen. those same lines 41 and 42 were north and south carolina which i always thought were named after the wife of a queen but they're named after king charles and carolus is charles in latin so north and south carolina reference king charles louisiana is named after louis XIV or king louis the 14th and again a named after a monarch from the old land. Not a great name for a state nowadays. What the hell is... Delaware is named after Lord Delaware or Sir Thomas West, who was the first governor of the Virginia colony. Now, technically, it's named after the Delaware River, but that was named after Lord Delaware. So, either way, oh, it's wow. named after that guy, an old guy from the old land. Georgia is <laughs> not a state named know. after an old monarch, King George II, who... Bro, it's literally just monarchs. Again, I knew there was sort of... There was going to be links... I thought more of them were going to be named after, like, again, cities or towns like York or Boston and things like that. But, again, a lot of it's from, like, named after people. Who was granted the first charter for Georgia in 1732. And the last of the ones named after one of the monarchs or monarchs. Okay, so all the monarch ones are just low. Fair enough, I don't blame you, to be honest. <laughs> Our family is Maryland, which is named after Queen Henrietta Maria, who was the wife of King Charles. Iowa is simply the French name given to local indigenous groups they encounter there. It's not the actual name of the groups, just what the French decided to call them. Illinois is another one where it's simply a French name given to the local indigenous groups, and the word means speaks normally. So, you know, that isn't insulting or anything like that. Look at these <laughs> savages over here. They speak normally. Maine is one where no one's quite sure where it got its name from, but King Charles ordered the colony to be named the province of Maine, spelled M-A-Y-N-E, but what that means or what it references, nobody really knows. Not Maine. <laughs> Washington is named after George Washington, the first president of the United States, but at the time the state was named, the capital was already Washington. There were many Washington counties throughout the country, so, so I don't think what? naming a state Washington at the time that it was was really a good idea. And from this point forward, I like all of the names, so I'm going to just be kind of picking nits here with how I decide to rank them. Massachusetts is Algonquin, that means near the Great Hill, so I'm not sure exactly which hill this references, but Massachusetts isn't known for its big hills for the most part, so not the best name. Kentucky is a Seneca word that means on the prairie or meadow, which is a pretty Chocolate interesting Kentucky word. Kentucky was but... named after the chicken, but... <laughs> okay, maybe not, but... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I know Kentucky from the chicken, right? KFC is why I know Kentucky, right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think of Kentucky, I think of rolling hills and mountains, not prairies and meadows, so maybe not the best name for this place. Oklahoma is a Choctaw word that means red people, so this isn't an these offensive term that cool, the Europeans like came and called these the red people. This is the actual uh, local term for the people that live there, the red people. Tennessee takes its name from the Cherokee town of Tennessee, but... Maybe it's not the best name for an overall state to be just what was a town for the Cherokee. Are you from Tennessee? Because you're the Tennessee. I couldn't even say it. I literally just couldn't talk. I've ruined the picture. Alabama is a creek word that means a clearing <laughs> or an insane. area where you gather vegetation. So, interesting term, but that really could be anywhere. It's not really specific to Alabama. I spoke over this. Alabama is a creek word that means a clearing or an area where you gather vegetation. So, Interesting term, but that really could be anywhere. It's not really specific to Alabama, but still kind of a cool word. Arizona is O'Odom. I'm not sure how to pronounce that tribal word, but it means silver bearing spring, which is really cool, even though it may not be the first cool thing you think of when you think of Arizona, but still a pretty cool word. Um, it is not some kind of Spanish derivative of oh, arid zone being a, a desert. Utah is named after the Ute Indians, which is the largest indigenous group in the state, although Utah itself is a Spanish word for the group. Similarly, oh, Kansas is the French variation of the name of the Kaw tribe or the Kansa, but the word itself means south wind or people from the south. Very similarly, Arkansas is an indigenous term that means south wind or people from the south, but I think it's more fitting for Arkansas being that Arkansas is an actual southern state, so Arkansas is the land of the people from the south. Montana is simply Spanish for mountain, so the name of the state is mountain. That's either genius or really dumb but either way i think it works pretty well for montana being it is a very mountainous state in the western half of the state all these years up until the time i did the research for this video i thought rhode island was in reference to the greek island of Rhodes, but road is actually the dutch word for red so it means red island in reference to aquidneck island pennsylvania simply means penn's woods named after the founder william penn so pretty fitting term just, I just, when I think of Pennsylvania, I always think of, think of Transylvania. <laughs> it's just 
Vania in the end. It's weird that places with Vania in the end, they just remind me of sort of vampires or like, I don't know, Vania. What other places have Vania in it? I'll tell you what I'm going to search up right now. Places that end in Vania. Spotsylvania, Transylvania, Pennsylvania, Toonsylvania, Westylvania, Pittsylvania, Pottsylvania. So they're words. But there's two places, I guess maybe there's maybe one more or two more places. Virginia is a very, it is a very, like, oh, Virginia, oh, Virginia, there's no other major place, just two Virginia counties that are quite, a few more that you include, named Sylvania, with no prefix. One can safely consider place names of the form name Sylvania, to be short-lived British colonial fad to Latinisms. Transylvania is the only older exception, and it is possible that Charles had the sound of it in mind when he named Pennsylvania. Oh, shit. The more you know, right? At 19 and 20, or north and south Dakota, and is Dakota well? is the Sioux word for friend, so really good name for these states. Friend. Oh, I guess not. Very similarly <laughs> is not. Texas, which is a Caddo word, Tashos, which means friends or allies. So it's pretty interesting that Texas and the Dakotas have basically the same name, but in different languages. Most of the rest are simply descriptive of the area, and Vermont is French for Green Mountain, although in French it would be stated as Mont Vert, but either way, perfect name, very fitting for the area. Nevada, or Spanish Nevada, means Ooh, snow picture. covered, in reference to all the mountains. Interesting picture from Nevada as well, because I already just thought it's just deserts upon deserts, but, yo, know I mean, this is a surprise to me. A bit of like mountainy Greenland or forest land. Or in the state. Colorado Beautiful. is Spanish. It means red color, which is very fitting because much of the western portion of the state is a very red color. Florida is another Spanish word. It means flowery or full of flowers in specific reference to the Easter season. And the Spanish right. stumbled upon Florida during the Easter season. So what I'm getting from, gathering from this is the Spanish named the states that they sort of... So the Spanish and the French named the states that they were sort of... I don't know, not in control of, but you know what I'm trying to say. They lived or they had like a big influence... They named their states a lot better than the British places, which again, I'm not going to argue with because <laughs> just naming it after like people and stuff it is just a bit boring. I mean, some it's cool, but I guess there's just maybe, maybe name a few after people and then name other ones after like, I mean, imagine like calling a state like, what's a British thing? Fish and, uh, fish and chips. What's a British thing? <laughs> I don't know. What, crumpets and tea or something like that. That'd be a bit cooler, but like a little maybe crump. Well, crump is a thing back in those days. Was tea? Tea was definitely a thing. Yeah, it was. Was crump? Well, crump is a thing. Season <laughs> and name the Crumps and tea. Crumps tea. That's that's pretty cool, you know. That would be number one in, in my Florida. books. Oregon takes its name <laughs> from the indigenous name for the Columbia River, although there is a little dispute over how it got its name. But if it is for the it's Columbia crumps, River, crumps, yeah. good name for the state. Ohio is the Seneca word for either good river or large creek in reference to the Ohio River, so a very fitting name for that state. Wisconsin is a Miami word, which means river running oh, wow. through a red place, Miami and this word. is in reference to the red sandstone bluffs of Wisconsin Dells. Really cool name for a state. Really nice area as well. Connecticut is a Mohegan term, which means beside the long tidal river. Bro, these pictures are crazy, man. I don't know why, but this is just so interesting. Let's just go up to the sea. Wait, it's, I don't even have Connecticut's on the coast, so that's probably... A, I don't think it is, to be honest. So it doesn't. But, like, these houses, like, here, and then it just goes out. It's so weird. That is so strange. This place look like, looks like it get, could get flooded so easily. In reference to the Connecticut River, so, again, another very fitting name yeah. for the state. Oh, fucking Minnesota is a Sioux word, which means cloudy water, so perfect yeah. name for a state where the northern half is pretty much just all lakes and water. Nebraska is an Oto word, which means flat water, and that's in reference to the Platte River, which is a pretty slow-moving river that goes across basically the entire stretch of a Nebraska. Very good name for that state. Mississippi is an Ojibwe word, and it simply means great river. Mississippi is just a fun word to say. <laughs> I mean, it's, put, it's got a meaning that's cool as well, but I like saying Mississippi. It just sort of rolls off the tongue. Could there possibly be a better name for Mississippi <laughs> than satisfying. great river? And then there's Michigan, a Chippewa word which means great water or large water. Could there possibly be a better name for Michigan than that? 
And then <laughs> Alaska, which is an Aleut word, which means great land. So, you know, great river Mississippi, great water Michigan, great land Alaska, perfect. All right, people probably aren't going to like my top four, but at number four is... Has he said California yet? He hasn't. He hates California. Doesn't he hate California? I don't know. Is that another YouTuber? I feel like he... Or is it... That's the world according to Briggs. Does he hate California as well? We're going to see. I know he's from there, I think. Missouri, which is the Miami term, which means a dug... Bro, these pictures are insane. Dug out wooden canoe people. So these are people really good at building dug out canoes. I love canoes. I got to put Missouri high on this one. California takes its name from a beautiful fictional island mentioned in a novel written in the year 1510. And when the Spanish explorers first stumbled upon it, the first thing they thought when they saw this beautiful land was this fictional island from this book. So pretty cool way to get that name. Hawaii takes its name from Hawaii Loa, who was the mythical discoverer of the islands. They're kind of like a god figure who discovered the place in legend. So really cool name for the state. And a lot of folks might have what I have, number one. I do like Hawaii. I do like Hawaii, actually. Hawaii, for me, probably is the coolest sounding one. It just sounds cool. It just does, though. I don't know. It just, I don't know why I said it like that, but it does. It's a bit funky. It's well. number 50, but I think it's great, and that's I. Wait, where was California? I'm sorry. I don't know. I missed it's it. It's literally a made-up term. Legend. Pretty cool way to... Oh, <laughs> I was confused for a second. That name. Ten, and when the Spanish explorer maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't hear it first, first stumbled upon it the first thing they thought when they saw this beautiful land was this fictional island from this book so pretty cool way to get that name Hawaii takes its name from Hawaii Loa who was the mythical discoverer of the islands They're kind of like a god figure who discovered the place in legend so really cool name for the state and a lot of folks might have what I have number one as number 50 but I think it's great and that's Idaho it's literally a made-up term. Some dude just made up this word and claimed it was an indigenous term that meant mountain <laughs> gems. And he tried to get what would be later Colorado to be called this, but I remember Colorado that. I folks that. caught on to it. I don't remember when it happened because it was hundreds of years ago, I think, or like a long time ago. But I remember it being mentioned in a video. He said, hey, go away, you idiot. But then he went to Idaho, and he was able to get the Idaho folks to go <laughs> along with this and call the state Idaho. So... I doubt that Idaho did not know that this word was made up, so it's got to be totally tongue-in-cheek, which is why I love it, and why Idaho, I think, has the best name for a state in the country. So that's my go. ranking of the state's names, and like I was... I go, shout out to Geography King, man. Again, I said it in the last video. If he hasn't reached 120k by this point, please subscribe to him. Help him get to that point, because I would appreciate that. He deserves it as well. Just any little help, you know what I mean? But yeah, Geography King. I re now I'm realizing why I enjoy this video so much. They're just fun to see, I'm not going to lie. They are just fun to see. Idaho State E. McStay face. Already know this is going to be a banger. Idaho's name origin was very interesting. Did not know that. Yeah, it is kind of strange how someone just made it up. We love you. Oh, I love you. We love you as well. I mean, I love, I love this channel as well. Well, this world just the world just ended. Car ranking his favorite state dead last. Love that. That your channel was now. Yeah, it's fun. It just goes into like really random things that again I don't know why. Like I didn't know I'd be interested in this kind of stuff, but now it comes to it, it is something that I want to learn more about. Like all these random facts about each state, whether it's like each state's favorite ice cream. I don't know, maybe not that degree, but like you know what I mean. Like maybe it's more like historical, meaningful ones. But yeah, they're cool to see. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. More on the way. Suggest some more videos you want to see in future. And yeah, until next time, like subscribe. Peace.